Okay, so this one is the nickel metal hydride battery sandwich. And we've got the same uh, space available here as you can see. And um, uh, on here on the bench, I've got 24 sticks here at the minute. So this is like a pack and a quarter almost. Um, so it gives us that extra voltage boost. You could have a few more sticks as there is a bit more space here at the front. Or possibly squeeze another one or two at the side. Uh, and the idea is just to have a, a, a sandwich um, of two Fomalux boards. This is a Fomalux 5mm board at the bottom here. If you imagine one cut to size to fit the space and another one which would go on the top eventually. And then the idea is to use this 40mm waste pipe. This is very light plastic um, polythene waste pipe. And um, st stick a load on the uh, uh, bottom board there like that. And you can just slide your sticks in. Uh, no dramas. Put that one in there. And uh, bus bars along the back or on the front, etc., to connect them all up. So this one might be the positive, and then we have a pack split here. Might have a fuse or a, a contactor or an isolator switch here, and then a negative here. And obviously bring the wires to the middle and have some sort of Anderson socket on here. So that's a potential um, nickel metal hydride hybrid pack mounting solution. So if we're assuming all the area inside the IPU has been used by the supercapacitors, then this allows us to mount the nickel metal hydride pack um, in quite conveniently behind the bulkhead and the um, depth of the pack um, shouldn't even probably protrude above the bulkhead. It's gonna be about, uh, if you have another five mil board on top of this, it's gonna be about a 60 mil, um, perhaps just less than that sandwich and um, then judiciously bolted down um, using the uh, bolts bolts into the IPU cover uh, locating holes as well so you can just uh, sandwich it with the uh, IPU so that's the potential nickel metal hydride uh, mounting solution uh, that looks quite practicable to be uh, fair so I think I'm probably going to definitely build one of these just to test um, uh, cooling that's a probably potential issue there is some space in these tubes around these cells uh, so possibly with uh, uh, the ends, if it's all nicely made and it's sealed up, you possibly could put a fan pushing air through these tubes and bring uh, exhausting out one, one side or the other, but we'd have to look at that. Um, obviously they will get warm, but they may not get as warm as we think because obviously there's quite a lot of surface area there and they are all semi-exposed, albeit inside these tubes. So these tubes will warm up and they may dissipate enough heat um, initially obviously if you're in Arizona it's not going to be working um, but there we go so that's where we are at the moment certainly for the UK cars and possible rally car conversion hybrid super cap conversion uh, that's what I'm looking at just to make it easy so you could have a, a really good pack of nice quality sticks here 24 or 26 whatever you wanted a uh, nice high voltage pack and um, which they would constantly dump its load into the supercapacitor pack um, on stages and um, obviously recharge from the supercapacitors as voltage is available and as there is sufficient potential to do so so that's what we're looking at now i was thinking of making the sandwiches once you've got these tubes um on a piece of board uh, you can just stick them down with tape initially whatever is once you've got your sandwich on top and you've got the edges all sealed up etc use expanding foam and uh, that would seal all these tubes into the construction and make the actual construction very rigid um, if you filled in all the gaps it would make it really pretty strong probably still a two-man job to uh, lift it and put it in the car without snapping it in half but that's a potential way of increasing the strength of the structure or putting some braces down the um, sides here a 50 mil piece of um, one by two batten or something like a wooden batten um, screwed in to make the uh, uh, box stronger yeah so that's where we are that's what i'm looking at and the poly pipe stuff is cheap as cheap as chips and uh, it looks like an interesting way of uh, mounting it i'm just gonna get some bus bars now